Hi students, welcome to Anacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma. Students, few days are left for the Neat examination, and now there is a new update that there are certain changes in the NCERT. Yes, you heard me right. If you talk about the NCERT biology, yes, there are certain changes. Basically, in the NCERT biology, right, they have updated the uh, NCERT and they have rectified few errors there. So, in this particular video, that is what we are going to discuss. That is what we are going to address. There is nothing to worry about. Don't be like that, ma'am. Few days are left for the examination. Now, if NCERT is updated, how do we need? to answer the questions don't worry about that in this particular video we will discuss everything and whatever changes are there right whatever particular changes are there i'll tell you about that changes here only and don't worry in the classes we have discussed the actual concept so you are not going to right you are not going to have any trouble okay so let's start the discussion here so the very first thing is that when you talk about your class 12th right class 12th ncrt biology if you will check the website there you will see right if you will check the P PDF there. If you will try to download this NCRT from the website directly, right, you will see that they have mentioned it. Reprint 2025 26 So basically, it is updated, right? It is updated on the website itself when it comes to the class 12th NCRT biology. But when we talk about the class 11th, right, NCRT biology, it is not updated on app yet. But yeah, the new edition is there in the market where they have changed few things. Okay, so maybe in few days because might be they are scanning it, and in few days they'll update the class 11th NCRT biology as well so let's start the discussion let's discuss about that mistake so this is basically the new one let's discuss about the older one first so older one when i'm saying older one the one that you bought last year okay i'm talking about that particular ncrt the last year edition so in the last year edition this mistake was there that when we talk about this particular topic it is showing us the atp synthesis in mitochondria so you know that when we read the text here right when we read this particular text here students so here in the text we see this thing right that uh, here in the text they have mentioned that there is the production of atp for each atp produced 4h positive passes through f0 from the intermembrane space to the matrix down the electrochemical protein, proton gradient. So when we discuss it in the class, we also mention it that this is correct. But when you look at the diagram, they have mentioned 2H positive. So now, 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 here in the new NCRT, they have rectified it. And here in the theory as well as in the diagram, they have mentioned the same thing. This is the one error that you need to keep in your mind. So if you have this particular diagram in the paper, right, as a question, so you are not going to mention 2H positive here. You have to mention 4H positive here. This is what you have to keep in your mind and this is what you know already that it is your oxisome that they are talking about this is the number one thing now when we move to the second part so here it is from the latest edition from the ncrt latest edition that is in the market but not updated on the app yet so if you will read this question you remember it is from the cell chapter right schleden and sean right schleden and sean they gave the right what they gave the cell theory right schleden and sean so when we talk about the sean we know that he was a zoologist but right in the last year edition also right you will see that here instead of german they have mentioned british zoologist but he is actually the german zoologist even i read one book once i noticed this thing but of course we have to focus on the ncrt so we go as per that but yeah the correct answer here is he was a German zoologist. So this is the change, right? This is the change that is there in the new NCRT. So you can note it down. This is the second change. Now, when you move to the next part, okay, so here, right, in the older NCRT, and this screenshot is from that old NCRT, the last year NCRT only. So our body has one pair of adrenal gland. You know, a pair of kidneys we have, and here we say that adrenal gland is there, right? And one at the anterior part of each kidney. So in the NCRT, it is given a one at the anterior part. So in at the place of anterior part, it should be above, or you can say that superior to the kidney. That is it. That is it. This is what you have to remember. Instead of anterior, this should be the verb. But, right, it should be above. The adrenal gland should be above the kidney, adrenal, adjacent to kidney. This is above to kidney, right? They are superior to the kidney. That is what we have to remember. So this is one more change. So other than that, now, this is from the skeletal system. This one is from the skeletal system. So when we talk about the bones, right? When we talk about the skull, in the skull, yes, we discuss cranium. Okay, you remember we discuss facial bones, right? We discuss hyoid bone, right? Other than that, we discuss ear ossicles. So basically, now this thing is also updated because if here you will see it is mentioned a single U-shaped bone called hyoid is present at the base of the buccal cavity and is also included in skull. So basically, this part 
right this part is updated here right so basically this is what you have to remember that hyoid bone i don't have that particular ncrt screenshot right now right once i'll get it i'll definitely share in our official telegram group as well so hyoid bone is not the part of skull so if you will see my session okay in the session right no doubt when we make the flow chart because that is how we have to remember it is given in ncrt we discuss that we mentioned the hyoid bone there in the skull because this is something written in the ncrt but actually i mentioned the position uh, where it is located right the uh, anterior part and all if you will check the session you'll get to know i have mentioned the exact position but ncrt was saying it is the part of the skull but now in the new one they are basically not including it as the part of the skull which is the actual thing so hyoid bone is not the part of the skull it is the change and that is something you have to remember please keep it in your mind okay so after that the next thing is so when you read this part the cell part so here they have mentioned prokaryotes and eukaryotes they are the semi fluid matrix and in the same chapter right in the same chapter in one another sentence they just mention it as the fluid not semi fluid so the actual thing is that it is the semi fluid matrix and this is what they have updated here so for the prokaryotes even for the eukaryotes right it is the semi fluid matrix which is present that's it so now students this is all about the changes and we'll keep informing you if there will be any update regarding anything or basically whatever is required to qualify your exam we are here to support you i'm here to tell you everything right if there will be any change any update and we are here for your you know that for the academic part as well our channel is known for the academics basically for the marathons basically so be ready for that you know that right we are taking the marathons yesterday i took the marathon for the uh, why yesterday today itself i took the marathon for the botany part and now right uh, tomorrow your vaseem sir will take the marathon and after that students yava sir and again i'll take the marathon for the class 12 syllabus after these marathons there will be the final marathon as well don't worry about that so keep loving us keep supporting us and enroll yourself in this 10 free mock test before the actual exam so you will get the link for this particular uh, mock test in the description box so take care stay tuned if there is any doubt do let me know in the chat section thank you